Hey guys, um, designated inquirer here, along with the one and only Pikachu that goes on treasure hunts, lol. How are you guys doing today? Good, I hope. I hope everybody enjoyed their winter break. Uh, right now, I'm going to enjoy my evening break, and I'm going to play a couple games of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I hope you guys enjoy the following. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play a match of uh, Versus with uh, the Mewtwo Lunala slash Espeon deck that I made. So far, it's pretty good. It's got good... Um, Energy acceleration, energy retention, energy mobility, because of the Lunala GX. Um, I have um, Professor's Letters. I have quite a few things in here. There's a couple things that I want to do uh, to make it better. One is to basically have... One thing that I've noticed is there are probably cards that do similar things to um, to supporters, and this might so there are trainer cards that might do the same thing as supporters, um, and having equal amounts of the type of card that you want. Uh, be in in your deck could facilitate and how much you can get done let's see we'll, we'll keep playing this right now let's see what we can do this puts me in a little bit of a disadvantage here okay so it can just confuse me and he put all right, it's not bad. All right, um, I'm still pretty confident in the amount of energy that I could get at any point considering my deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and end because I think he did end up trying a couple cards with that. And so I'm gonna reduce the amount of cards that he has. No, let's keep it the same, but we'll, let's switch it up. Let's switch it up. That way I can get more... Interesting. Okay. Okay, not bad. Alright, so next I'm probably going to use Ninja Boy to swap in a... Um... Lowland Vulpix, and I'll use its power to take out two Pokemon that I want, and we'll start building up our bench that way, even though it's already kind of a little slow right now. He basically has the same, he's going to be going for the same kind of deck that I am. Okay, good. He pretty much already gave me one. And he's starting to evolve that one. The second he gets, uh, the second he gets the, uh, the Lunala out on his side, he can move those energies wherever he wants. Um, Gonna go ahead and start attacking. Which that's actually pretty fun considering that this attacks anybody that's got energy on it. So now he's gotta be careful about that. I don't think he can knock me out that quickly, but I'm not exactly sure.
I'm going to go ahead and Guzma here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and Guzma. I'm going to make him take out. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I'm going to put him in the line of fire. I have enough energies. I'm going to go ahead and put it on anybody because at this point it doesn't really matter. Because the point is for me to get out my Lunala at some point as well. So I'm going to go ahead. This is really useful, but start doing some damage here pretty soon and in the transition let's see here yeah I'm gonna get him and I'm gonna start off on my Lunala um, chain as well so let's go ahead and do that Hello, whoever's watching. Thank you for watching, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Okay, he still hasn't just had any damage yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve this. Yes. Let's see if he's in our deck. He is, very good. Okay. this one right there and I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and beacon for this and this Done. I don't think I have any rare candies um, so this is as fast as I can do this, which isn't which isn't bad. This is fine to me. Guess I still have a professor's letter, etc. It's not really affecting me too much. All right, I think now I'm gonna start moving things around. Go ahead and have that set up. I'm not gonna put down weakness policy yet. Right, let's go ahead and search for what I need right now, which is this. And we're going to get started on our ghastly line. Because this guy, if he's moving around energies and stuff like that, every time an energy gets attached um, with a Gengar out, I think. I don't know if it's from the hand particularly. We'll have to take a look. Um, they get hit with... 20 damage so that means as he's moving it around he might not actually want to do that so I'm just setting up right here getting everything nice and neat having Or I might want to just start moving things into place. Let's go ahead and use a professor's letter. Done. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use this one more time and then we're just going to start doing damage. Done.
Right, every turn after this is basically going to be to inflict... I know he's got Lunella's... He's got to have Lunella's ready to go. there. I'm going to leave those there. I'm going to swap out the... Hmm, not yet. I'm going to go ahead and swap this out. Yeah. Yes. And who do I want to do it to? Yeah, I think I just want to get a kill right now. Start getting there. Something he's not as likely to use, so he won't care about healing it. Let's see what this person does. Thank you, single person, for keeping watching me. <laughs> I know that those aren't the correct words in a row that I should be using, but it's okay. Thank you anyway. Let's see here. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and follow this. I still don't have Lunala out. They do have a Lunala. 130. Okay. This is going to be interesting. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use... Yeah, yeah, no, this is fine. I'm going to use suppression first. We're just going to whittle away at his base. We're going to force him to put his actives in the active or else he's gonna lose everybody and as he's doing that since he can't heal everybody all at the same time everybody's gonna keep accruing damage until I decide to use Zen Force which I'll be doing 30 damage okay good he's starting to go on the offensive which is fine and start attacking right away. And I can go ahead and put in uh, which is fine. Where is he getting this ability from? This is kind of strange. Alright. There we go, we won one. Cool. Guess I didn't have to go through the anguish of actually destroying him. <laughs> What's this week's? What is today's prize? Boundaries crossed. Interesting. Okay. 
Okay, since that was pretty quick, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. Um, yeah, let's do one more with, with that deck in particular. See what kind of damage we can do. I think I don't think I have all the cards required in physical form to actually do to make that deck. I do have uh, one of the Shining Muse, but I would need another one. And they're not that easy to get. They're not exactly the most expensive card, but they're pretty worth it. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I will. This can be okay, no longer very quick. Zycard is a weakness, leaf, and weakness of psychic. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Considering. Cool. Not prized up, which is very good. Okay. I'll go ahead and use Shauna. Good. We got another Rage Quitter. We're not doing too bad, you guys. We're not doing too bad. So that's one of the better things about that particular EV is that your your um, your setup is really quick if you get it on the first shot. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking for one match, one solid match. Okay, this is not going to be easy, and I might lose pretty quickly. He's got a pretty good lead on me right now, in terms of setup. And his first attack could be... Okay, 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 okay. It's not bad. It's not bad yet. If I don't have anything... Okay, good. This is still kind of bad. I don't really have anything yet. This is the best I can do right now.
You guys are going to have a full bench right now. I need a ninja boy to swap out. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't have any more energy. Well, we got a rescue stretcher, so we know we can at least get back this one basic Pokemon.
EV so we can put him in play. be really energy starved if he actually had to get back those two energies right now. His ability stands when you play effects. Okay. Alright, so he's safe for one turn basically, which is okay. Go ahead and involve him. I'm not going to take the bait yet. I'm going to go ahead and put I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna bring in our because we kinda yeah, I want well first I need to wait for him to actually not have that protection on him. basically have a full set right here and we're ready for anything that we get in the price cards okay so he no longer has his protection he can still run away and as of right now he still has a weakness so what I can do right now is do full burst so I can put in All right, I'm going to sacrifice one energy from this guy I'm going to go ahead and place one here Done. I'll go ahead and retreat. Place him up. And place this on him. And I'm going to go ahead and... Now we're going to start attacking. Well, it's not great, but it's not bad either, so we're okay. And there went all his energy, so I'm not exactly too worried right now. He can put me asleep if he wants, but it's not going to affect me a whole lot. He's just kind of delaying the inevitable at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and move some energy off of him though, just in case. And he's going to... I'm going to go ahead and just move it to... Hollow. Unfortunately, I don't have a way of bringing him back in. So I'm just going to leave him be. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put this on here because the Gengar only needs one Psychic. The rest he can work off of just one. I think one. Every Everything else works off of one, so we're okay there. Um, I don't really need to do anything else right now, and so we can get a little bit more flexibility, I'm just going to go ahead and N, although he has a ton of cards right now, which I don't know whether or not I want to disrupt, probably not, 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and say I'm done. So now I'm awake, but he can still put me to sleep, which doesn't really help me. So I need to be able to be awake at the beginning of my turn. Still asleep. I think this guy's going to try and mill me to death. That's what it sounds like. Unfortunately for him, I have Shauna, which lets me put in basically all these cards back into my deck. So, I'm not going to use it yet. Okay, I actually need a Guzma right now. Alright, awake. Good. Alright, I can swap that out with anything I want. What do I want? I think I probably want to try and play for a Guzma right here. I need to try and end that one bouffant over there. Well, he's only going to hit me for 80, so that's not that big of an issue. Let's go ahead and just destroy. Let's go ahead and just destroy him. So I'm going to move one energy from here to there. And we're going to say done. I'm going to go ahead and place weakness policy on him for whatever reason. Now we're just going to go to town. Good, we got a Guzma. So if he tries to hide behind anything... We're just going to go ahead and wreck him. Buffon head. So he can only protect himself if he uses his first attack, but his second is not enough to kill me. So I don't know exactly what he's going to do. Brooklet Hill. I don't know why he's not filling up his bench. He should have... Should have more than enough to actually do that. Okay, that's fine. Move that. He's going to have a hard time. Good. As far as I know, he doesn't have a way to accelerate energy, so he's kind of screwed right now. I'm just basically going to keep whipping away... his Pokemon until he's done, so, and I only have to kill three more.
Well, he wants me to time out. That's what he's doing. Sorry, bro. Oh, got my win. Did 12 over a thousand damage with the Mewtwo, so it's not bad. Pretty happy about it. 50 more coins, not bad either. Let's go ahead and just. Let's go ahead and. Let's use up some of these coins real quick. Gonna go ahead and use this for Guardians Rising because I still need a Lele. I don't have one. So let's see what we can do. Let's go to our collection. Let's go ahead and open up these two packs. See what we get. Not what we wanted, but that's okay. Pseudo Wudu is turning out to be a little useful. And this is the second Salazzle I got, which is great because I think I want to use this, this particular Salazzle for that ability. Along with a de-evolution, this could be pretty good. So, glad I got it. And cool. I think that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you guys have a pleasant rest of your night. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye.